three questions combined into one. Let's say you're in the 10th standard and which kind of student should go for a science stream, which kind of a student should go for a commerce stream, which kind of a student should go for an art stream. These are questions that will always rise at the time of the 9th standard and there onwards in the parent's mind, in the student's mind. So what, what guidance can you give to our students who want to choose their stream, especially in the PUC, after the 10th standard, whether it's science, commerce, or arts, or any other? This is a really very good question because whenever we have meetings, parents and students, the principal arranging such a meeting together with the parents, that is after 10th, who should go for arts, commerce, science? It's in there is a fight between the child and the parents. Parents say you become a doctor. Child says I want to become go for acting or I want to go for modeling. I want to go music. I want to go sports. But parents are not agreeing. And many times because of the parental pressure or peer pressure or neighbor's pressure, people uh, take up, but later they don't become successful. So my experience shows by conducting programs for 10th standard uh, level for so many schools, a student is very good in science, not marks, but after the interest, he loves while reading, revising for the exam, science and max, and scores are about say 60%, 70%, then such a student can think of science. Now, there are some students who don't like science at all, maths, physics, chemistry, they don't like, but would, would like to become chart accountant, company secretaries, lawyers, accountants, or maybe cost and management of personnel, or some people are good in HR, human relations, or maybe finance, marketing, logistics, or simply a degree, okay, commerce degree, and go for commerce careers. Such students should go for commerce. And it is wrong thing to tell that arts is the worst. Not true. All over the world, highest number of students go for arts. All over India, highest students, number of students go for arts. Even in Karnataka, North Karnataka have gone many uh, districts. Arts are three, four batches. Commerce, two batches. Science, half batch. Only in Mangalore and in Bangalore, they have heavy rush for science students. They should change. And um, people should find out that arts also has enough careers, commerce also has careers, arts also, uh, sorry, science also has careers. Now let me come to arts. Who should go for arts? Those who are planning civil services like IAS, IFS, in an economic service and so on. Those who are planning psychology, we want to become a psychologist. Those who want to become journalists like our brand, okay, famous journalist, if you want to become or English literature today, big demand for English literature is there. I have not seen any person who is very good in English and unemployed. A doctor may be unemployed, engineer may be unemployed, but English MA literature and who is, what I should say, excellent in communications can never be unemployed. Even teaching, then music, dance, sports, there are so many umpteen careers, even humanities, we are going to take up one session like that, especially to encourage our students not to worry about the arts because one girl from Kurga has written to me, sir, I have completed my BA, I am jobless, I want to commit suicide. Actually, she is not knowing after BA what can be done where there are good careers, modern careers, she does not know. So this way, after 10th, if you are good in science and maths, take up science. If you don't want those courses but would like to go for specialized courses like marketing, finance, HR, accounts and all go for commerce and like this, uh, other courses, teaching, then uh, uh, sports, music, dance, journalism, psychology and becoming a teacher, okay, go for arts.